every month, you can head over to Lawrenceville to be serenaded by a group of amazing singers. And tomorrow is you next opportunity, your next opportunity to do so as Ari Aria 412 is putting on their What's Your Sign concert at Hop Farm Brewing. So joining us now to talk about it are group members Desiree Soteris, Louise Van Moak, Kip Soteris, and Matt Gillespie. What a wonderful group of people we have yes. here. Thank, Thank you all for joining. And I don't know who should answer this question first, but how did Aria 412 get started? Well, Aria 412 got started. <laughs> <laughs> you up first. Yes. 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 I'm the co-founder. Wonderful. And um, we got started in 2017 uh, just doing one concert, and they loved it. And so um, we started doing it the first Tuesday of every month. Wonderful. And uh, we are now currently at Hop Farm in Lawrenceville. And, you know, we just have a great group of singers from Pittsburgh. It's all about Pittsburgh singers and that's local. great. Good. And talk about the event that you guys have coming up. It's, it's, it's tomorrow, right? Yes. Yeah. It's called What's Your Sign? What is that yeah. about? <laughs> so our, our theme tomorrow is What's Your Sign? So it's going to feature songs by composers that you share a sign with. So I'm, I'm a Capricorn, so I'm going to sing a piece by Mary Rogers. Um, and we have a, some Pisces and some Sagittarius. So we, we compiled a list of composers and their signs, sent them to our singers. So they could kind of see, oh, I, oh, I know something by this person, so I could do that. But then also, you know, taking your sign and kind of spinning it out. Like if you're a Pisces and a water sign, you could sing something about the water. Mm. Or like a, a Capricorn, I could have sung something about by anyone I thought was the greatest of all time or the goat. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we like sense. to make it creative. Yeah, yeah. And this is a, a common theme that you guys have. You do something different every event, mm -hmm. a different theme. Love it. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah. I want to hear from the guys in the back. So <laughs> tell us about joining ARIA 412, what this has been like for you. Sure. Um, well, I joined uh, from the very beginning. I'm the accompanist for most of the shows. I play the piano, and uh, it's, um, it's a lot of fun. I get to work with some fantastic singers and play some terrific music, and uh, it's always exciting. And Matt, how do you learn all of the different tunes? Because, I mean, it's, it's a lot and very complicated scores, too, sometimes. Yeah, yeah I've, I've been accompanying for a long time, so yeah. it's experience. I know some of the music already, of course. Mm -hmm. even, so. yeah. Of course. And, and these singers are <laughs> they're so easy to work with. It, yeah. just, it goes very smoothly. And Kip, this is kind of easy. How'd you get involved? How'd you oh, get yeah. involved? Well, I, I married an opera singer. <laughs> so it was pretty easy. I told her when we got married, I, I, all the opera I knew was from Bugs Bunny. <laughs> and then, you know, I'm the one that makes it safe, right? Because I'm coming to opera relatively like these folks. They're all modest. They're so smart. They have, they have such incredible repertoires. Matt can play pretty much anything from sight. They're just mm -hmm. so gifted, and I'm differently gifted. Oh, no, you really are gifted. I've, I've, I've seen uh, some of the video from these shows, and you're serving as, as the host and MC, and you are so funny, and you're engaging the audience from the beginning to the end of the show. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, thank mm -hmm. you. They boo me, but they laugh while they boo me. <laughs> oh, that's not true. Oh, my God. Yeah, and, and really, this is this is for the entire family. You said for some of your shows, you, you even have kids coming. Yeah, we do. We have babies, we have um, toddlers, and we just want it to be something where, you know, you can feel comfortable, enjoy the music, get some food and drink, and, you know, share it with your family, and perhaps, you know, build a love of opera and music with those children. Yeah, that's right. W what do you, people say after one of your shows? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> so, Louise, what, what do people say after the show? Sorry. Some of the, we've had some people come up and say, you know, I've never really, I've been kind of afraid of opera. Like, I, I never thought I was interested. And, and now after, you know, listening to uh, some of our singers sing maybe an aria or a duet, they're like, I'm, I want to go see something maybe with Pittsburgh Opera. So come see some of the original productions you all perform in. And, so you really uh, are inspiring people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you realize that there are some opera tunes that you don't, like, you don't think you know opera, but after you're, I hear them, I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe I do, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. <laughs> all right, well. Media, yeah. 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 All right. Well, great thank, thank you Thank all. you all for yes. coming on. <laughs> thank, thank you so much. All right. Well, still to come on Talk Pittsburgh, we're ending the show with quite the star-studded performance. You don't want to miss it. That's coming up next.